Today, we'll discuss the past year of physics in term 1, 2021, section C, question 20. So this question is about the chapter 10, thermodynamics. Question 8. Describe the thermodynamic changes in isothermal expansion and adiabatic expansion. So the question mentioned about the expansion, so I guess you just straight to the point to talk what happened during the expansion. So this question gives you seven marks, so you need to try to answer as much as possible, but straight to the point. Don't write an exit. So the reference that I can give you is, is about what is the constant variable, what is the effect, equations, and the result or the conclusion, as I mentioned in my video. So let's go through the explanations. In isothermal expansion, the temperature of gas is constant. So there is no change in the internal energy of gas. From the first law of thermodynamics equations, delta U is zero, hence delta Q equal to W. So what is the interpretation from this equation is that all the heat supply is used by the gas to do work during volume expansion. So the last sentence here is more like add-on to the explanations. As the volume increases, the pressure of gas decreases. Let's move on to adiabatic expansion. So heat is not allowed to enter or leave the system. So delta Q equal to zero, W is equal to negative delta U. So this means that the internal energy of gas is used to do the work, hence internal energy of gas is decreases. The temperature is also decreasing when the gas undergoes expansion. For add on to the explanation, we can also say that as the volume increases, the pressure of gas also decreases to an even lower value compared to isothermal expansion since the temperature of gas is reduced. So you can try to write on your own way and try to mention all those important changes. We move on to question B. A cylinder with adjustable piston contains 3.5 more of diatomic gas. Okay, uh, we came across with these terms diatomic critically in the past year, that we can get the value of gamma and the degree of freedom for diatomic is equal to five, hence the gamma is 1.4 from the calculation. Okay, so the dynamic gas is initially at 0 0.125 meter cube and the pressure is given. The value of gas is then increased adiabatically to 0 0.85 meter cube. Determine the initial and the final temperature of gas. So we need to determine two things, initial and the final temperature. So from what we are given that, okay, we can see the initial condition is almost complete. We have the initial pressure, volume, number of moles, so I guess we can just apply the ideal gas equation that PB equal to nRT. Okay, the initial pressure is given as 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal. And then the initial volume is 0 0.125 equal to the number of mole 3.5, gas constant at 0.31, and then the initial temperature. So we can get the first one easily by using this equation. So just apply it, okay, 1.013. So the initial temperature is equal to 435 Kelvin. Okay, remember the unit here is Kelvin. So the next thing is we can apply the constant Tv to power gamma minus one as constant to determine the temperature of gas. Okay, we have both the initial and the final volume. Just put in the value of S according to this equation, we can get the final temperature. Okay, we have the V1 over V2, the initial volume 0 0.125, divided by the final volume, 0 0.85, the power of gamma minus 1, so gamma is 1.4, minus 1 is 0 0.4, and then multiply the initial temperature, 435. So the final temperature is equal to 202 Kelvin. Quite straightforward. We move on to the last question. Tell me the change in internal energy of gas. So we have learned a few equations about this. One of them is like NCVM dt, but the molar heat capacity is not even. We have learned how to relate the molar heat capacity to the degree of freedom that CVM is equal to F over 2. But we also have learned one of the equations from chapter 9 that delta U is equal to F over 2 and RT. So I guess we can just straight away apply this formula instead of finding the CVM. So we know that the degree of freedom for dietary gas is 5 over 2. Multiply the number of mole 3.5, the gas constant at 0.31, and the change in temperature that we have the final minus the initial temperature. So for here we can see that the change in internal energy is negative value. 
So if we refer back to the question that the gas is and the, the gas undergoes expansion from 0 0.125 to 0 0.85 meter cube. So this is aligned to the expression that we did in the previous question. That the internal energy of gas is used to do the work, hence internal energy of gas is decreasing. So we have the negative value of change in the internal energy of gas. So we can just proceed that uh, to do the calculation. So we have 5 over 2. So the final answer is equal to about negative 1.69 times 10 to the power 4 joule. So you can add in some explanation that the internal energy of gas is decreasing to do work. So that's all for this discussion. If you still have any question, leave it in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.